again i welcome you guys to the make it simple youtube channel in my previous video i explained about aws code pipeline which is a csd tool and also like how to create the code pipeline through aws console if you didn't go through that video just go through it and come back to this video i have given the video link in the description section moreover i will give a short brief of code pipeline once again it is a fully managed continuous delivery service that helps you to automate your release pipeline for faster and also like reliable application infrastructure updates it will automate your build test and deploy phases of your release process every time when there is a code change based on the release model you define so it will be a good tool for your ci cd process and this enables you to quickly deliver your features and updates and also like you can quickly integrate with the third party services like github or if you have own jenkins server means you can easily integrate with them with this aws code pipeline you pay only for what you use there are no upfront fees or long term commitments in this video we will see about how to write cdk for aws code pipeline which comprises of service like code build iam role sns etc and before going to write the cdk i will be again giving overview of what is cdk and what are the terminology tasks like the cdk it, the whole cdk will be can can named as app and inside the app we will be having the different kind of stacks and inside the stacks you will be writing a construct construct the service means which is services and you can create a layer of abstraction like you can create a, a stack uh, what are the services commonly used you can co uh, have it in a different uh, layer and you can make use of it in another construct and all but at the end everything will be a cloud formation template and it will be deployed through aws cloud formation only let's get into the writing the cdk through visual studio code and the code piece which i am using is there in my public repository cdk examples and before that i'll be showing like there is no pipeline and there is no code build and only one queue is there and there is no cloud formation let's go to the visual studio code and here inside this bin right and i said this is my app and inside this app i have my stack like cdk pipeline stack and example stack and this is my pipeline stack okay so what i am doing is like before going over here I will be deploying this stack because the stack deploying will take nearly 3 to 5 minutes. So initially I will deploy it. CDK deploy. I will be deploying the stack name of this name. I am deploying this one. I am just giving the profile name of my AWS account. I think I have AM. That's it. It will start deploying. We will go through the code walkthrough now. So this is my pipeline stack. Yeah, see here. Inside this stack what will happen is like wait i will be giving yes complete it okay see here here only i, I have written everything for my code pipeline let's go through one by one so inside here there are many constructors there many constructors since like many services see your first name is like i'll be creating a role if you gone through my previous video i, I have created a role and i have given the policies there right similar kind of stuff so i am creating a pipeline execution role for my code pipeline and i, I am attaching a policy for it as of now i am giving all the actions and resources to asterisk but you should be more precise for this demo i have just given over here but you should be more precise on your policies there and similarly i, I am creating a code build execution role for code build also we need to create a role and i am attaching policy regarding the same next one is like in the code pipeline if you go through my previous video the first stage is source stage so in the source stage means i am linking to my github suppose if you have like a code commit or any other repository means separately will be there like for example if you want to go with the code commit means if you click dot means it will given all the properties like i want to go with code commit so based on the code commit it will have everything and this is my github source action and this other properties i have to give like what is the action name and the owner repo and the branch and all like i need to get it value the value all this value where it will be like it will be in the cdk.json files so the cdk.json file i'll be having all the constant values so if there is a constant value and it will get different for each environment you can have it in the cdk.json file and i am passing the owner like what is the who is the name of the owner repo branch and all and there if you note it down in the video means i'll be clicking on oauth connect right so that can be done with the help of oauth token so in your github you can able to access, create the personal access token and the token should be added in the secret managers so from that secret managers you are trying that token and passing it over here that's it and the pipeline trigger action is like webhook and this is a source source stage and next one is like build project similarly code build dot pipeline project i need to give the build spec 
if you noticed in the previous video i have given a comment right that insert comment like for example this is my comment build specter test files right so this is my comment i have copy and paste it over there but here what you can do is like you can just tell to them yeah this is my file name you can get it over here and this is the environment whatever i choose like, like linux standard image and privilege equal to 2 and the properties like timeout role the role which i created is like i have added over here and the environment variables we need to pass if you remember that i have just given the environment variable right so here the environment variable will be passed like this like this account number and region both this number i have added in the cdk.json file so i don't want to hard code it over here next one is like approval stage so in the approval stage i just given directly the mail itself so the notify emails if i given the mail id it will automatically create my sns so i don't need to worry about it and in the deploy project in the deploy project what will happen is like uh, again this is the code build project again i am creating the project name and build the spec description environment and again the timeout and the environment variable i am passing it over here and this is the final stage like i am creating a pipeline with the pipeline name is the pipeline name and i am giving the role so the next stage is like we need to connect all our stages like see here with the help of add stage property i am just adding my stage the stage name is source and the, this is a value this is the uh, property which i have created in the top source action similarly for build i am just creating the build add stage i am just giving the name i am just giving the project name build project which i have created over there and similarly the approval i just added this stage and similarly for the deploy i am just adding the deploy and adding the project deploy project i am giving the artifact from the source artifact that's it action name is deploy project so by this way you can create a code pipeline through cdk so if you see it over here it just took 140 lines of code only but if you see in the cloud formation template let's see before deploying it, it right it will be creating a synthesis cloud formation template inside the cdk dot out so here this is my te template it will get automatically generated if you see it here it will be like around 800 lines of code suppose if you want to write this piece of code means in that uh, json file or in yaml file it will come around 800 lines of code but in your cdk with the help of your own program language it just took only 140 lines only and also it provides the benefits of like abstraction and uh, auto commit everything over there like auto pop up everything over there suppose if you don't know what is the property means you just give the space bar and it will pop it automatically everything like what value we need to give and all so we don't need to worry and let's see now the code pipeline stack has been deployed what i said in the build spec is like we need to deploy the example stack so it will go to here and will check the cdk example stack in the cdk example stack what i did is like uh, the cdk example stack i have given the queue name the cdk test queue let's go and see it here in the aws over here let's see in the code pipeline i think it has been created yeah it is in pro progress for that it first it will create the code cloud formation so the cloud formation name is cdk code pipeline stack right not cdk the stack name is stack iphone cacd see here the stack iphone cacd has been created inside that it has a lot of resources the resources are code code pipeline and code build iam and sns so you can able to see it over here the resources like uh, cdk and uh, sns topic subscription s3 bucket everything it has been created automatically don't need to worry about it and the code pipeline has been created now if we go over here you will see before that we will see code build also if i refreshing it it will get automatically created see here the build project and deploy project these are the two names i have given in my cdk if you search it over here see here this is the project name i have given build project and deploy project here i have given the deploy project and also description so everything will be coming here now let's see the code pipeline it will take nearly three to five minutes that's what in the start of the video itself i just executed the command see here the source is getting executed if you click on this let's see i will just approve it manually let's see i am just reviewing it approving it let's see similarly what i have said in the source stage if you click on this uh, commit id it will let you know what is the difference you have done what is the com last commit it has been executed and all so you don't need to worry about it and the so source is executed and in the build the test cases get executed i manually approved it and then i am deploying it over here and the deploy stage it will be started deploy so i executed the build respected yaml file here the cdk deploy cdk example stack in this cdk example stack what what is the stack it will go here is like go to definition and inside the stack what is the constructors queue with the name cdk test queue let's see what will happen and uh, here yeah queue i'll just refresh it 
I hope this is a queue which is already created CDK test queue. I think it will get updated or let's see what is happening. Yeah, this is the code which is getting executed. Yeah, everything is version and it will try to create a stack also over here. Let's see what is happening. AWS version executing and it is building building over here and after that it will be CDK bootstrap and then CDK deploy command will start executing. Let's see what is happening in this deploy stage. And moreover, uh, the first pipeline you will be creating here, not the first pipeline, one pipeline is free of cost and then uh, it will be like point one dollar per month for the other pipelines and CD code build 100 minutes per month is free. Yeah, it gets succeeded. Let's see in the cloud formation. There are already three stack. If I refresh it, the fourth stack will be there. I'm just refreshing. Yeah, I think this is the stack created. We'll see the stack name. Yeah, this is a stack name, stack CACD test. To make sure, I think we have the updated time. We'll see here whether it's updated recently or not. Yeah, see here, it just updated recently. So the stack is already created through the ALA demos, but when you're creating it, right? So it will, it's already there, it try to update it, that's it. And if you see here, or uh, in the stack, what we'll be doing is like, the CDK example stack, we'll be creating the queue and the queue will be added in the output, which means in the export, let's see. In the export section, it will be there. Yeah, see the, the export section, the CDK test queue, iPhone ARN with the name and the queue ARN will be there. So it's everything is created. Now let's see the code pipeline. Yeah, it's everything is succeeded. I think we'll refresh the whole page. Yeah, everything is refreshed. In the previous video, we did the same thing through the console. And now we have did everything with the help of CDK, AWS CDK. We have written with the help of TypeScript. And now let's see the pipelines. Let's get succeeded. So with this video, you can be able to know how to write uh, CDK for the services and how to create a uh, connection between the services like construct and all. So it will be very easy to write. You can write on your own and I have my this piece of code in my public repository CDK if an example and you can take it and uh, try on it your own because the code pipeline doesn't have charge it for the first pipeline and code build also like 100 minutes per month is free for the first, uh, not first month, every month 100 minutes is free. And in the next video, what I will be going to show is like, for example, just let's see what I am going to show in the next video. Like, for example, I'm just giving test something. I will be giving some meaningful name, uh, test demo something. And uh, here, see here the source provider, it will have the source code repository connection to code commit, which is AWS, ECR also AWS, S3 also AWS, Bitbucket, GitHub version one and version two and GitHub enterprise server, but it doesn't have to other repositories like third party repositories like for example I have my repo in my GitLab or otherwise I have my in my VSS or I have my uh, SVN. So what we have to do for that we need to create a custom plugin or a custom action in the code pipeline itself and we need to do that. So in the next video we will see like how to integrate my code pipeline to GitLab. So it will be kind of little bit complicated. Let's see how to do that. If you have any doubts you can uh, add it in the comment section. I will be very happy to help you guys. That's it guys. Thanks for watching my videos.